I would like to show some of the really interesting, cool, and uh, useful device monitoring and management features of Designer 2. So one of the tentpole features of Designer 2 was this new and redesigned um, edge device sidebar. And you can see that there's a lot of device information exposed now. Um, in this case, whether the device is connected or not, with the edge node red is running, and if it's not, there's a, <clears throat> a lot of uh, options uh, to remedy that. Uh, whether the flows that are running on the edge are the ones that you see here in Designer, available memory and disk, uh, last time that the uh, machine responded to a keep alive ping, uh, disconnects in the last day, uh, relevant uh, software versions of different uh, components at the edge, and then a lot of system information, including helpfully uh, MAC address, IP address, etc. So this is obviously designed um, for a quick glance check uh, by a human. Uh, but the question that we get a lot is whether this information is available programmatically. And the answer, as is the case for uh, many of uh, the unique designer features is both yes, um, in a very comprehensive way and a very easy to use way. So all that information is available uh, in two context variables. There's a global context variables in the file um, context store, so it persists. And that device, uh, the, sorry, that variable has all that information that's in the sidebar. Uh, status, properties, and then um, if uh, the device is um, has any subflows associated with it and deployed, that information is here. Also, uh, all this information, by the way, is uh, read-only, but this um, property of uh, this object for that each device has, this user property, is read and write. So, that's a place where one can put any metadata associated with the device and both, as I said, read and write to it. So that is uh, devices provisioned variable has all the devices that are in the edge cyber. And that is all the devices have present edge running uh, in them. But the flow uh, context variable devices in use has devices that are being used only in the flow that it's been uh, shown. And in this case, uh, this device has a software associated with it, and you can see all the information there. So that this can be um, used in a custom node or in a function node or in, any, in the flow. And there's also, uh, for custom nodes, there's an event uh, called device-status that um, one can subscribe a, a listener to it. And every any time that uh, the information, um, the, any system information and the device information changes, you, that event listener will get the object of um, the device that um, had a change and it would be this kind of object. So that's one way to uh, access this information uh, programmatically. The other one is to use our proprietary device status node, which is shown here. So this node uh, is very simple. It has a monitor option, and there are three options. Monitor all provision devices, all devices in the flow, or selected devices where one can select um, just particular devices that uh, need to be watched. And then when anything uh, in any information in these edge devices changes, this node would uh, will generate a message, and then one can act accordingly. Uh, one can also get uh, device status on demand by just simply sending a message to uh, this node and specifying which devices um, one is interested in getting their status at any particular time. So either um, by user interaction or when an event happens, one can get the uh, device status information. What allows uh, one to do is, for example, have a very uh, 
nifty and simple to use uh, dashboard, which I've done here, where I just picked off just a few of the um, devices, the, a few of the uh, information fields uh, provided, uh, the device ID was connected, um, the edge node running, etc. And one can have a dashboard of all the devices that are in the system. And in this case, at a glance, see what their uh, status is. Um, so this is things, these are uh, the columns that uh, could change uh, at every time we send a keep alive. And these are more system information uh, that is collected when the device is provisioned, but can be updated also on demand. So uh, the edge device sidebar, the information in it can be accessed programmatically, um, either by directly interfacing with um, the uh, context variables uh, that were shown or in a, directly in a flow using the device status node. 